Right, now we're going to make handles. And it's important you to make a tiny handle because it'll break up with the pressure. It's important you to make a really small handle where you can't get your hands in because the clay is going to shrink. So you're going to make sure that you have a big enough handle for your hand to fit it in through. Now this right here is a good thickness for um, small teapots. This right here is really thick. It's a good thickness for really big t uh, handles, especially if you want to carve something out of there. So I'm going to put this one on there. So I rolled the coil and I make sure my clay was wedged. I'm going to make the bottom of the coil kind of flat, and I'm going to make the top of the coil kind of flat a little bit. I'm going to score here. I'm going to score there and put slip on both of them, score them again. I'm going to score where I want my handle, both sides of my teapot. Score and slip both sides. I'm going to make my handle land right on there, and then I'm going to put it right there. And that's how you make the teapot handle. Now you can shape this to be more like this. A lot of people need theirs to be more squarish so they can actually get their hand inside. But this, been, this has been scored and it's slipped and then I'm going to smooth it out here. This right here is a very weak bind right here for when you put liquid in it. So what you need is you need a small coil. So after you smooth out your teapot, you're going to have to go here on the inside and you're going to have to score both pieces, the handle and the pot. Score, add water, or score. You're going to add one piece of clay and you're going to kind of push it inside right there. Push it real good where it doesn't leave a big gap because you don't want to leave an air bubble in there. Then you're going to smooth down and smooth up. This coil down here is going to give it strength. You need the same kind of coil here at the bottom. So I'm going to score here. I'm going to add water. I'm going to grab my small coil, kind of make sure it goes in the crevice well. And they're both scored and slipped, right? Because everything's scored and yeah. slipped. So I'm going to go up. And I'm going to go this way. Going sideways only moves it around. You have to go up and then you have to go down. And notice how I'm not using water. If you use a lot of water, it just gets muddy in there and you're not really putting pressure to press. And you need the pressure to get out any air bubbles that are in there. So that's how you make that kind of handle. There's that kind of handle and that's how you attach it. That's actually how you attach all handles. Then there's this kind of handle. Some of you want some really, really fancy handles. And again, with the weight, it might be thicker, it might be thinner. I'm going to make a shape that looks like this. Then I'm going to roll it. I'm going to roll it like this. Maybe make a real pretty handle that does something like that. I'm going to let that dry. And I'm going to put this piece up so I can attach. And this will attach here. So this one will go like that on my teapot. But it will not keep this form right away. So I need to score and slip this coil where it stays together. I need to shape it exactly how I want it, and I need to let it sit for one day. But not open. I'm going to let it sit covered so it can just get a little bit stiffer. It's called leather hard. When it gets kind of hard, where you can just pick it up and it keeps its shape. Then you attach it. Does that make sense? you got to let it dry so it can keep its shape. Then you do the same thing as before. You score under here. You score under there. You put your tiny coil here. And then you put your tiny coil at the bottom right here. And with this one... You also put a tiny coil here at the bottom. Now this is ripped because this is just a sample pot I'm using. It's not a real one, just for the videos. But that's how you make a real fancy handle. You make it on the side and you let it dry. Some of you also want a handle that's shaped really cool. I have a guy whose handle is supposed to look I think it goes something like that. He has a really tall cylinder pot and his handle is supposed to look like that. But he wants to go in it like this. Okay? That's how he wants his handle. So notice how thick my slab is. That's got to be able to hold some weight. And his teapot that he's doing is about that tall. So the handle fits the design. So he made a flat, it's flat like this because it's a cylinder. And he's going to score and slip here. He's going to put it on his teapot, and then his coils for strength are going to go out here on the outside. Does that make sense? Yeah. And that's going to be his handle. So if you want an interesting shape, you, pull, you take it out of a thick slab. If you want just a regular handle, make sure you use a thick coil. If you want a fancy one, make sure you make it and you let it dry for a day. And everything gets scored and slipped with an extra coil to give it strength. 